Okay, welcome. Um, I am going to explain the questions that were emailed out. There were a few um, questions from people, so we'll just go over them really quick. So problem number one is norepinephrine. So we'll write out that order. That's norepi, just so everyone can remember. And the order was written in 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.02 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Okay. And then what's available... It's available in 10 milligrams in a 200 ml bag of D5W. Okay, and then our weight of our patient is 220 pounds. Okay, so let's put all this together into one. Um, the first half of the video, I'll be explaining it in dimensional analysis. Um, the second half, um, it will be, still be in dimensional analysis, but um, I'm going to break it up into two parts. So if you want to do it in one long, watch this one. If you want to learn how to do it in two parts, watch the next one. All right, so we're going to start with our pounds first because our order, remember, is in kilograms. So we need to change pounds into kilos. How do we do that? We know how to do that. That's easy peasy, right? I'll just keep it right here. Okay. So we're going to do pounds into kilograms, and so that is 220 pounds, okay? And then we know we need to put our pounds on the bottom, and so that's where we use our conversion factor of 2.2 .2 pounds per one kilogram, okay? And then we have to have um, our concentration from our bag and because we're going to end up our goal is to end up in mls per hour right so that means we need to start with the mls on top so you're going to put your mls from your bag above the milligram because that's a concentration so you can't just split it up so 200 mls over 10 milligrams but remember, our order's in micrograms, so we need to change milligrams into micrograms. So if you remember the conversion factor, it's one milligram for 1,000 micrograms. Okay? And now you can put in your actual ordered rate because we're in micrograms now. So we put the micrograms up here. Remember, <laughs> don't put it next to it. you got to put it up here because they have to cancel out diagonally from each other. So 0 0.02 micrograms per one kilo. And then because this is micrograms per kilogram per minute, you have to put minutes over here. Why don't we put minutes up here? Because it's micrograms per kilogram per minute, and so it really is micrograms over kilograms over minutes. So we have to invert that minute and put it over there. there you're not going to have anything up here, just trust me. And then now we need to switch minutes to hours because we need to end up in mLs over hours. So then we put 60 minutes over one hour. Now, if you go through here, before you multiply it out, I recommend crossing out all your units so that you know you're going to end up correct. So we have pounds, the cancel, kilograms, cancels. We have milliliters here. That should stay the same. Milligrams, cancel, micrograms, cancel, and minutes, cancel. So you should end up in mLs over hours, which is perfect because we have those are the only two, two units left. If you multiply this whole thing out, you end up with 2.4 mLs per hour. All right. Now, if you want to quit right there, that's fine. Um, we're going to show a different way to do it. So in the um, other way to do this, um, I really enjoy um, having getting rid of that kilogram. So you can plug in your kilograms of your patient and multiply it by the microgram um, order and then change this rate, get rid of the kilogram, the microgram per kilogram per minute and change it to micrograms per minute all by itself. So you can do that. And then if this part, if you don't like that part, it gets rid of that part. And then you just write in your micrograms per minute, and then you can multiply it minutes over hours. Um, so it just depends on how you want to do it. So let's go ahead and um, dive in and we'll do it this other way. Okay. So remember our order is 0.2 micrograms per kilogram per minute, but we need to figure out how many kilograms he weighs first. So just like before, you're going to do your 220 pounds over your conversion factor, which is 2.2 .2 pounds below 1 
kilogram. So we're gonna get that answer, which is 100, because we just multiply that guy out, or sorry, divide him out. So we end up with 100 kilos, that's what our patient weighs. So remember that number, because we're gonna multiply that by our microgram per kilogram per minute, so we can get micrograms per minute. So we multiply it by our 0 0.02 micrograms, which equals, if we move our decimal place over, two micrograms per minute. So now we've removed the microgram, sorry, we've removed the kilogram from this um, rate, and now we're just in micrograms per minute. And so it's a much more simple fraction, and you don't have to do this business here. It's fine if you wanna do it the long way, um, I'm just showing a different way for people. Okay, so now I have my microgram per minute rate, but remember we wanna end up in mils per hour. All right, so start out with our same thing, right? Because we wanna end up in mils per hour, which means we need to start with milliliters on top. So 200 mLs over 10 milligrams. Now again, just like before, we need to change milligrams to, to micrograms because our order, our rate that we calculated and the order is still in micrograms per minute. So we need to do one milligram, so our conversion factor, over a thousand micrograms. Okay. Now we can put in our um, actual microgram per minute rate that we already calculated. So this is kind of slick because you can just plug this guy in here, microgram per one minute. And now we're in minutes. And if you cancel out the units we've already done, we have mLs over minutes already, just like we did up here. And then we multiply by 60 minutes over one hour, which gives us 2.4 mLs per hour. So same problem, we just took away. So we end up with mLs over hours. We just got rid of this part and we did this part at the beginning up here. So it just depends on how you want to do it. Um, it might make more sense for you to put it all together or it might make more sense to divide it up. Either way, just make sure that you're always remembering what you've put in here and you're allowing your units to cancel out diagonally from each other. And we need to end up with mLs over hours, which we have. All right.